Louisiana Beer Review's Moosehead Canadian Lager. Now it says Moosehead established in 1867. Well, the brewery was, but it had different names, but um, eventually it became Moosehead Breweries. Family owned still today. Brewed and bottled by Moosehead Breweries Limited, St. John, New Brunswick, Canada. Union made. Okay, so uh, you could read the website about the history of the brewery. It went through all kind of things, fires, explosions. Uh, this was sent to me by Dr. Dave in Ohio. Thank you, Dr. Dave. We can actually get this here in my town. I can get six packs fresh here. But he sent it. He didn't know if I could get it. But yes, we can. We don't see uh, Molson Canadian or Labatt in this town anymore. I guess Canadian beers aren't really that popular. But So they say on the website in the 1930s they came out with a Moosehead Pale Ale. Which is still sold, but we don't get it down here. But then, then on the website, now they give a specific date for the Pale Ale. But on the website they say in the 1970s we came out with Moosehead Lager. But they don't have a specific date, which is telling me they lost track. They lost track of the exact date of when it was introduced. So it's kind of funny, you know, kind of like Schlitz Brewing Company losing track of their original recipe. So they had to get a bunch of old retired people from there, from 1969 back, and saying, uh, "Do you remember what it was made with or what it tasted like?" <laughs> but. Um, so sometime in the 1970s, all right, when I was in elementary school, this hit the market. Green bottle, they've changed the label. The last time I did a solo review was in 2015, and they had a different label, okay? So, here we go. It's one of the top three Canadian lager beers, you know. Labatt Blue, Molson Canadian, Moosehead, your big ones. So it's green glass, a green label with white and red trim. So I put a bunch of green oriented things back here, you might notice. All right, not much had a foam, even in this wide brim. Crown Royal Canadian, all right, whiskey glass. I thought it would have a, a thicker head of foam. I did smell a little skunk at the beginning, but it quickly dissipated, so it does not smell skunky. No, 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 no. 5% alcohol, 13 bit turnish units, adjunct lager using corn. And there's a Brewers Academy's part of their website that I was reading at one time and talking about the use of adjuncts and they go into big detail and they were saying look if you taste corn or rice <clears throat> something's wrong with the brewing process it, you should not taste the adjunct the, the adjunct's supposed to be neutral okay so interesting alright smells like bread white bread crust and like the grassy hop bitterness even at 13 IBUs, you're picking that up. Nice bubble action. I don't know if they get this in Europe, you know, uh, Spain, Andorra, France, Belgium, England, Wales, Ireland. I don't know if they get this here. Get this there. I don't know if they get this in Mexico or the Bahamas, okay? clean, easy going. Uh, does it taste like Labatt Blue or uh, Molson Canadian? Actually it doesn't really. It has a unique flavor. I always thought and I still think Moosehead has like this little twang to it. It's hard to pin down. I don't know if I like it or dislike it but it's there. You might have noticed that too. Medium body crisp finish, and I have this cold, not in the freezer or anything, but out of the fridge. Uh, uh, green bottle, I'm noticing that hexagonal 
tight bubble action there. You get that with skunked beers. It'll start making these like a slime. <clears throat> you never see that in a brown. Well, I guess you can't see in the brown bottle, but I don't really notice that with other. But in a clear bottle, you see a lot of it. It'll just be like, it'll like blow up hexagonal all around. It's a sign of skunking. But like Stuart Picard says, uh, Gin Riel Trail, he says, just pour it in a glass, wait one minute, the, the skunk will dissipate, you never smell it again. And he's right. No matter how badly skunked it is. It'll whiff away. Whew. Now this is pleasant enough. I know they make the uh, Moosehead Light, which I've never seen. There's Rattlers, which I've never seen, and there's a, the Moosehead, like I said, Pale Ale, much higher IBUs, like around 30. I'd like to try those, but we only get this in, Lu <clears throat> in Louisiana and only in the bottles. I know there's cans, but I've never seen them in my life except on the internet, you know, people posting photos of them. Medium body, crisp finish, two out of five sugar cubes, and that's pushing it. Yeah, one and a one and a half out of five hop cones, so it's the bitterness is negligible. I've been to New Brunswick twice. Went to the capital city, saw the the uh, Royal Guards at the uh, government house with their red jackets marching like it, they have in England. It was very interesting. Um, nice lacing. So, would I buy this as a regular drink? I would not buy it as a regular drink a drink because in Louisiana the prices are elevated. You, you know, they ship it all the way down here from New Brunswick, so you're going to pay more. If you lived in New Hampshire or Vermont, it's probably much cheaper. Um, I mean, I'm thinking that because it's so close, but here it's more at the craft beer level, and they sell it like that because people say, oh, it's imported from a foreign country, it's exotic, and they buy it. But I don't even know if people like that and I'm one of those people, I do the same thing, but I don't know if they're buying it on a regular, you know, just to drink all the time. But it, there's probably a few in every town that do that. I'm going to get my moose head, but it keeps on on the shelf. That's probably what happened here. There wasn't enough people buying Labatt Blue and Molson Canadian to justify keeping it on the shelf, so they just pulled it. Sad state of affairs, but it's the case for many imports. They've been chased off the shelves by local craft craft beers some of which are dreadful and some of which are pretty good and, and a few are very good but um it's probably the case in every state it's crisp clean easy going to really pin down which is the best of the big three you'd have to do a blind taste test like a tournament moosehead versus labat blue moosehead versus molson canadian then molson canadian versus moosehead molson canadian versus black labat blue and so forth and then score it keep track on pen and paper would be the easiest thing see which is the best but they're probably very 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 close and the differences wouldn't wouldn't matter much so um, I'd say shop price but then the price is probably virtually identical is it an extraordinary product it's not an extraordinary product. It's like I'm looking around this room and I'm looking at so many of these mass-produced beers. Most of them are not extraordinary. But they're enjoyable and the history is extraordinary and they're well made and I've been uh, reviewing them, video reviewing them since 2010 but written reviews since 2009 and really reviewing them in my mind since uh, 1996. I just didn't have a platform that I was aware of in February 96 to write reviews. I would just buy these things and say, oh, mm -hmm. 
I think this about it. And then I would talk to friends that would say, oh yeah, I had uh, Schaefer. I, I like Schaefer. I was talking to a guy at a getting ready to go to the crew of Endymion Parade years ago in the mid-90s, and he was, I love Schaefer. You know, we were talking about it, but there was, that was like the only, it was offline, right? But it was like the only interaction way to do it. You just run across somebody that had cracked the code, so to speak. And now you run across a lot of people online, most of whom are pleasant. A few are bad apples with a axe to grind, little troublemakers, but mostly not not that. You get but you will get those. But uh score. It's a little bit on the bland side but then that could be said for like I say a lot of what I'm looking around here but uh it's kind of a rolling rock type blandness you know like rolling rock is a lot different since the 2006 buyout and I mean that in a better way it's to me it's been improved but uh nonetheless it's kind of a bland thing but rolling rock is 4.4 this is 5 so you get I don't know if you can really pick up that in the taste with such a small alcohol percentage, but um, that's what it's making me think of for some reason. Um, I kind of miss the old label, the old famous iconic Moosehead label, but they decided to modernize it. But I remember when I first saw this label, I was like, thinking I'm not in love with this but I guess you can't can't keep the same label right like 1978 to 2028 you got to update for scoring I think I feel comfortable there is a little honey note coming in it's probably coming from the barley yeah Just jump the score up. Um, yeah, I think I'll go with 92. 92 out of 100. Getting into excellent, almost to most excellent. Uh, but then Labatt Blue and Molson Canadian probably would score just right up there with that in Molson Golden. But that's, you know, that's no knock against any of the products. They're all, the problem you deal with, with the problem you deal with with beer reviews is that it's not like oh these are all so bad it's like no all these are all so good and so you're trying to differentiate between oh this is really good that's really good you know and some of these reviewers you you would watch them and think every beer is horrible you know oh it's terrible it's the worst and i'm like nah Either you don't know what you're talking about, which is unlikely, or you're playing some kind of game trying to uh, hustle views by uh, appearing as something like... Uh, what? Yeah, I, I'm not buying it. I don't believe it. I think they know it's not bad, but it's like phony, yeah. These things are not bad. And I'm talking about all of these things. I'll show you around in a minute. So... Lazy Le Bon Ton a 92 out of 100, uh, strong A minus, <laughs> but you know what I mean. My A minus is 90 to 92, but um, still getting into excellent, and um, I'm enjoying it, and got no problem with it. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all go to New Brunswick, Canada, and take a tour of the Molson. Oh. What a mistake. <laughs> Can't edit that out. I mean, I could, but I wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> the Mo <laughs> That's embarrassing. The Moosehead Brewery. So, what I mean is like all these products. Like, some of these I bought at Collector, you know, flea markets, whatever. But, I mean, I've had most of these. And uh, to say that they're bad, oh, they're just horrible Oh, give me a break. You kidding me? 
they're not bad that's some that's a gap right there because I use it for the sh showcase these are not horrible beers and I am unanimous in that